On this edition of Week in Review, we're going to give you an update, and I know you're anxiously waiting for this, uh, for the building. Uh, we haven't talked about it for a while, so we're going to talk about it in this edition of Week in Review. Also going to talk to uh, Ruth Stanheiser, MD. Uh, she is a practicing physician here in Southern California, and she knows a whole lot about how to keep yourself healthy or get healthy if you've been, uh, you know, cheating on the couch with the potatoes and the chips and all that and more in this edition of uh, Week in Review. In the meantime, uh, we want to welcome Dr. David Taylor, board member here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network, serving with Sheila Hodg Hodgkins, uh, also a board member. And uh, I don't know, are you a board member? Technically speaking, yes, <laughs> <laughs> The president of uh, and uh, uh, CEO of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network and board member, uh, Ganem Hanna. Dr. Ruth, thank you for taking the time to be with us for a second week on Christian Connections and now a second week on Week in Review. Thank you. So we, Pleasure to be here. Yeah, well, we, we really admire and need your expertise in this uh, refined food world that we are, are living in. But more about that later. The first up is the first of the day. What have you picked out for us, Sheila? Um, first Corinthians um, 6, 19 and 20. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. Well, that's uh, some pretty serious counsel. I mean, why did Paul say that? Well, I believe that Paul had an understanding of the body and the mind, the spiritual aspects as well, being interconnected. And I think that we have neglected to keep that in mind at times of the reason why we... It's not a selfish, I need to be healthy for me. It's, I need to be a channel for the Holy Spirit to others and really it's hard to be helping others if you're sick flat and you're back in bed channel for the holy spirit that's a that almost sounds like a job description <laughs> Gannon, what do you think about that which part <clears throat> well the job description the, or <laughs> yeah the job description that the holy spirit has offered you to be a channel to so that he could teach others through you I mean, it kind of sounds like LRBN. I, uh, I got to let the Holy Spirit teach me. Yeah. And hopefully I will grow and teach others. Um, but, yeah, I mean, um, we need the Holy Spirit. It was a gift given to us by Jesus, uh, you know, after his, after his resurrection. He, he offered this gift to his disciples and, and made it available to all of us. So having the Holy Spirit dwelling in us... Um, it's almost like you have to be in harmony with the word of the Lord. You have to be in harmony. You have to be, you have to belong to Jesus to have the Holy Spirit in you, or the Holy Spirit will not be in us. Uh, I would suspect. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you're right. That's what LLBN is all about. You know, we want to share the power of God and and uh, the love of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit that can dwell in all mankind and in uh, uh, those who will accept Christ, of course. And you know, I, as I think about it. Uh, you out there are part of this ministry. You are partaking of this education that LLBN brings, not only spiritually, but physically, mentally. Why did you choose that first? Well, just because I thought the theme was all about health. And um, it's like uh, Dr. Taylor was talking about, our body is a temple. You know, we're not going to a church. God... When God says we are the temple, you know, you want to treat it with reverence. You know, when, and when I think about a newborn baby, you know, you want to give your child the best possible, you know, mm. <clears throat> life, you know, and you want to feed it good things, you know, and you want to nurture that. And I, I think of that as God wants to nurture us so we can become, you know, a channel or a vessel for him, mm. for the Holy Spirit. There's another part to that that I just wanted to point out again that, that she brought up, and that is that I love it. 
when my kids ask my opinion about things or they come to me, mm. even about little things. Yeah. And I think that God really wants us to understand that because he created us, it's okay to have him help us with these things when we're trying to be healthier, live a better life in that manner, not to earn our salvation, but because then the Holy Spirit can work through us better. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you for that. Get him. So, so does the Holy Spirit choose us or do we choose the Holy Spirit? Question for Dr. Taylor. Question for me? Yes, sir. It's a gift. He sent the gift. And uh, the gift, it's never free. Hmm. It's a gift to you. But somebody paid the price. God gave the gift of his son and sent it. When they call, say, do you want some cheap insurance? I says, no, I don't want cheap. That's quality. I want inexpensive insurance. Hmm. Whatever that's important, it's a gift. And he uses us as conduits, lie wires, a conduit. Give me light. <clears throat> it's more than taste. It's the thinking, what you see, how you eat, and what we can do. These temples, the bodies that we have, very special. Just think of the body. For years, people paid thousands for automobiles. When I was coming up, I remember at 30,000 miles, think about getting a new car. You begin to hear pistons slap and begin to smoke, <laughs> the blue smoke. Nowadays, cars can go 100,000. You see why? We're learning more and more to the perfect day. So God works not just from the pulpit, but even through dietitians, even through broadcasters, even through family members sharing about the body so vitally important. Wow, that's the last word on the verse of the day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Dr. Taylor. Well, you know, this idea of the health message uh, you know, the Spirit of Prophecy mentions how many times that it's the opening wedge, you know, to introduce the love of Jesus Christ to the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Ruth has uh, certainly uh, participated in this uh, ministry in, in a big way. Uh, you literally have put your life into the service uh, to the educating people that don't have a clue why, why they're not healthy. How did this happen? Well, I, I think that my, you know, I, I honestly can't tell you exactly why, but I can remember having a big interest from the time I was very young. Uh, I can still remember as a very young child uh, that I wanted to be a missionary. Mm -hmm. I'd heard all these stories, Haskell and other people, I wanted to be a missionary, and I wanted to be a missionary doctor, but I would always qualify it way back then, and I'd say, well, either a missionary doctor or a nurse because it, there weren't very many female doctors at that time. So uh, this kind of this health idea, um, my parents practiced to the best of their ability, and it's just always been something that I realized that God made us. Mm -hmm. So we have a responsibility and a blessing from that. Do you recognize the Holy Spirit when it's working in your life from day to day? Obviously, I do, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, people, we, we sometimes call that conscience. Sometimes it's not entirely 100%, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you have uh, given us an, a, a second chance to uh, learn about the body and uh, all the things that we talked about in the last edition of uh, Christian Connections. And uh, it's, we're going to have to have you back for another series. I know you travel and... You can't make this a weekly appearance, uh, but we're, we're so grateful uh, for the information that you have imparted. Ganem. Actually, Dr. Stanheiser can be found. Uh, she, has a, she had a program she taped a while back that airs on Smart Lifestyle TV. It's our sister channel, so if you want to hear more from her, uh, just tune in to Smart Lifestyle TV. You'll find it available on our website. It's also available through all platforms, Apple, Roku, uh, and uh, 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 phone apps. Thank you for that uh, information. Well, we want to talk about uh, your support of this ministry, the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. For several weeks, maybe a month or two, uh, we were talking about the 600,000 
uh, required to complete the building project. Uh, we got a little ways to go, don't we, Dr. Taylor? We have a little ways to go, but I come by, I look, I get excited to see what is taking place here with the uh, building program. It's because of the faithful family members worldwide just giving until it helps. And now from 600,000, mm. let's get it to 400. Oh yeah, by next week? Hopefully next week and prayerfully mm. next week. And I'm, I'm not really kidding because uh, the deadline is coming up and so we, we really need to uh, see some action. Uh, we're praying about it and we're depending on the Lord to provide and to speak to uh, the hearts of those that can help. Uh, this is a ministry that is preparing uh, in, uh, this country and other countries around the world for the soon coming of Jesus Christ. He is just about ready, don't you agree? That's right, he is. So how I'm ready for him to come. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, how important <clears throat> is it to, to support ministries of, like this? Well, I support it myself personally because I think it's very important. It can reach so many more people than I can on an individual basis. I believe we should be doing individual basis as well, but it's also, I think that these kinds of ministries are so important to, to support financially as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, here's the challenge. Uh, by next week, we like to report, as Dr. Taylor suggested, uh, only $400,000 left. Uh, we're grateful for anything that the Lord inspires uh, to help this ministry out. I'm just just so passionate about, about this growth and, and the opportunities that, that it will bring uh, to the community at large and the world at larger. Ganem. Well, Marlon, there's a number of buildings going up in Loma Linda, and I want to differentiate that our building is completely independent of all the other buildings. Our building is purely for broadcasting the word of God around the world. And uh, we're the only ones in Loma Linda building this particular building, a broadcast center. And uh, the ongoing market rates are $350, $300 to $350 commercially to build a commercial building. And we're achieving this at a residential uh, 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 achievement of $150 a square foot. So this is one project I guarantee you, your dollars are not going to waste. They're well invested and well put in building something for God's glory. So we, uh, we thank you and just remember to always put uh, LLBN on your checks so uh, we will be sure to uh, receive your, your heartfelt and, and uh, lovely gift. Cards and letters. Well, uh, we have Edna from Riverside, California, who writes about a Christian Connections program from two weeks ago. To my surprise, I was blessed to see my pastor Ainsworth Morris from the Kansas Avenue SDA Church present a message during the Easter season. Thank you, LLBN. And also from California, Ken in San Diego writes, oh, how I love your programs. Sabbath is such a blessing to me. Wow. Thank you so much, Edna and Ken. Yeah, and uh, I think we're going to have some more news about new programs uh, in the coming weeks. Sure. Get them. Well, that's all the time we have for, but before we want to go, uh, we want to offer a prayer for uh, our viewers who wrote in. Uh, Dr. Taylor, Surely. would you offer that prayer for me? Surely. And Father, we just thank you for letting us have this mind in us, which was also in Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us, and we thank you that conscience is a good guide when the guide of conscience is directed by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this edition of uh, Week in Review. Up next, University Church Services Live on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. See you next time.